Hey my friends, welcome to this week's blog. This week I wanted to show you something that is kind of underutilized by beginner players on the handpan, and that's activating the Helmholtz resonance. And there's different players that activate it through different devices, but I'll show you two or three of the common ways to get a really clear, deep bass note. This is activated when you're applying pressure in a particular way to the top, and that's causing the airspace inside of this to be activated and excited and then that deep bass sound usually an octave below the center note if it's a tuned Helmholtz resonance um, comes out of the bottom of it so it really fills in and kind of enriches the sound of what you're playing but percussive players will often use that as kind of a driving beat in certain songs so let's take a look at how to do that so as you get to know your instrument a little bit more you'll see different layers unfold to you. Um, a pattern you thought was one way can be enriched by adding different strokes or striking different areas in the tone fields. There's so many layers to add into your playing. I'm sure whenever you feel like you've reached some sort of a plateau, you'll find something that pulls you even deeper into exploring the tonal possibilities of this instrument. The Helmholtz resonance is something that can help you add a beat and a bass to what you're playing. So. Simply to activate it, I use a cupped hand and I'm keeping it pretty firm, kind of in this position. And I'm really not striking the top of it, but I'm kind of striking the area around here. Not, not hitting it hard, but I'm just kind of letting my, my hand fall on it. And I'm putting a little more focus on the bottom part of my hand. So I'm striking this area with a little bit more of a tap than up top. Hopefully you guys can hear this. Other players like to do like, they'll take their wrists and not on the notes obviously, but between the two notes. This is not something you can do on a Rav Vast, but it's something that's accessible on all hand pens. The Helmholtz on RAV pans are tuned. Some of them will require you pulling out the plastic piece at the bottom. Um, and on other instruments, you may have to cover part of the opening with your knee. But all of the RAVs have tuned Helmholtz. So here's an example of how you could use it in a song. So here's an example of how you might use it in the song. All I'm doing is I'm substituting a center note strike for one of those slightly open palm strikes. And when you're doing it, you're often gonna activate the octave and fifth, but it kind of adds and fills in the sound a little bit.
Alright my friends, this is something I'd use more as an accent to a song that I was playing, or if I wanted to add sort of more of a driving rhythm, especially in a song that has a root note that's really focused around the center. Um, it's a great thing to add into your compositions, and it's a great thing to add into sort of yogic, slow, meditative playing, because it really has a powerful sort of chest um, vibration when you do it. Hope you guys found this useful, and I look forward to talking to you next week. Stay well, friends.